all right so this video we are focusing on depreciation the straight line method so question one on july the 1st 2022 we have smart solutions llc acquires office equipment for twelve thousand. the equipment's estimated useful life is eight years and its salvage value is two thousand find the annual depreciation amount so depreciation for this year only and the company's financial year ends on 31st of December. So this is very important information. So let's move on to the equation. So the equation for depreciation for straight line method is the cost minus its salvage value, or you can also say residual value, divided by the number of years that we are going to have this asset for. So the cost in this case is 12,000. So we acquired it for 12,000, that's our cost. And our salvage value, so this is how much we are expected to sell it for or the value after the eight years. So it's 2,000. And the number of years, the useful life is eight. So we do our calculation. So the 12,000 minus 2,000 is 10,000, okay? divided by our eight years is 1,250. So this is our annual amount, all right? However, please note that we acquired it on July the 1st and our financial year ends 31st of December. So we have a 12 year, 12 months period. So this is from January to December is 12 months. So every financial period is 12 months. And we only got this on July the 1st. So this would be somewhere here. So if you count July, August, September, October, November, December, that is a total of six months. So we should only account for depreciation from the date we actually started to own it. So if this was on the January the 1st, then it will be the full 12 months and it will be 1,250. But we only had this equipment for six months. So that's half a year. So we would say 1,250 times six over 12 so that we get the depreciation for this period all right so it will be 1250 divide times 6 over 12 and then we get 6625 that's going to be our depreciation all right um and now if we're going to move forward on how we are going to account for this depreciation. Excuse me. So now how are we going to account for this depreciation now that we have all this information? So if we have our T account, so I'll just erase some of this. When we do our T accounts, when you are asked to prepare the accounts and to add it in your ledgers, so we have one for depreciation and depreciation in this case is an expense, all right? So we have here your depreciation account. And then you also have your accumulate, let's just say equipment. And then you also have your accumulated depreciation account. These are just abbrevi abbreviations, but write it in full. So when we're gonna account for this, we know our equipment is an asset, all right? And we bought an equipment, right, for 12,000. So here is your 12,000. And now we are losing value. So when we are losing value, we have to reflect that in the equipment account. So we will have your 625 at the end of December. And this is your depreciation. Right. And now that in your equipment account, we actually um, credited, we are going to debit your depreciation account with 625. And this is for our equipment.
all right and at the end of the year we have to take it to your accumulated depreciation account and the reason why is in your financial statements in the balance sheet you always have your assets property plant and equipment and then your accumulated depreciation so all your depreciation will go to this account and that's the, it for the video please watch the next one and subscribe